Peter was a shy and introverted young man who worked at a local bookstore during the day. But by night, he transformed into his alter ego, the superhero Captain Clumsy. Despite having incredible superpowers like super strength and the ability to fly, Captain Clumsy was clumsy. He frequently tripped over his cape, bumped into buildings, and accidentally knocked over innocent bystanders. His heart was always in the right place, but his lack of coordination often caused more harm than good. One night, as Captain Clumsy attempted to thwart a bank robbery, he fumbled with his powers and accidentally sent the robbers flying in all directions. In the chaos, he inadvertently knocked over the bank sign, sending it crashing down onto the street below. As Captain Clumsy tried apologizing to the shocked crowd, a young girl approached him with a smile. Thank you, Captain Clumsy, she said. You may be clumsy, but you always try your best to help others. That's what makes you a true hero. Touched by her words, Captain Clumsy felt a newfound sense of confidence. He may not be the most graceful superhero in the world, but he knew he could always rely on his big heart and determination to make a difference. And so, with a renewed sense of purpose, Captain Clumsy continued to protect his city. Tripping and stumbling along the way, but always managing to save the day. Sometimes, being a superhero isn't about being perfect, it's about never giving up, no matter how many times you fall. Once upon a time, in a small town named Jungleville, there was a school called Monkey Academy. As the name suggests, the school was populated by mischievous and playful monkeys who loved causing chaos wherever possible. One day, the monkeys decided they were tired of the same bland cafeteria food and wanted to take matters into their own hands. They decided to take over the school cafeteria and serve their delicious meals. Under darkness, the monkeys snuck into the cafeteria and began raiding the pantry shelves. They found all sorts of fruits, nuts, and vegetables that they could use to whip up some tasty dishes. The monkeys quickly set to work, chopping, mixing, and cooking up a storm. Before long, the aroma of their cooking filled the cafeteria and attracted the attention of the other students and staff. As the students and staff entered the cafeteria, they were shocked to see the monkeys working hard in the kitchen. But they were pleasantly surprised when they tasted the delectable dishes the monkeys had prepared. The food was so delicious that everyone couldn't help but dig in and enjoy the feast. Word quickly spread around town about the fantastic food being served at Monkey Academy, and soon, people from all over were coming to try the monkey's creations. The cafeteria became the hottest spot in town, and the monkeys were hailed as culinary geniuses. From then on, the monkeys continued running the school cafeteria, serving their tasty creations to anyone who walked through the doors. The students and staff were grateful to the monkeys for bringing a new level of excitement and flavor to their meals, and the monkeys were happy to have found a new way to showcase their talents. So, the monkeys successfully took over the school cafeteria and turned it into a thriving culinary hub that brought joy and delicious food to all who visited. This shows that sometimes, a little mischief and creativity can go a long way in making positive changes in the world. In the peaceful countryside, there was a small barnyard filled with animals. Among them was a group of sheep known for their love of storytelling and acting. They would often gather together and put on little skits for the other animals, much to the delight of everyone in the corral. One day, the sheep came up with the idea to put on a proper play for their fellow farm animals. They spent weeks rehearsing, choosing roles, and designing costumes. 
The excitement in the corral was palpable as the day of the performance approached. On the day of the play, the corral was buzzing with anticipation. The sheep had set up a makeshift stage in the middle of the yard, with hay bales for seating. The other animals gathered around, eager to see the show. The play was a grand production with dramatic monologues, comedic scenes, and even a musical number where the sheep sang harmoniously. The audience was captivated by the talent and dedication of the sheep performers. As the play ended, the barnyard erupted in applause and cheers. The sheep, their woolly faces beaming with pride and joy, took their final bow. The other animals congratulated them on a well-done job, inspired by their creativity and teamwork. From that day on, the sheep, fueled by their passion and determination, became the stars of the corral. They continued to put on performances for the rest of their days, spreading joy and laughter throughout the countryside. Once upon a time, there were three best friends in the town of Huntsville. Lily, Sammy, and Jake. They were known throughout the town as the silly goofballs because of their wacky antics and silly pranks. One day, the silly goofballs decided to enter the annual talent show at the town square. They spent hours practicing their goofy dance routine and comedy skits, adding silly jokes and funny faces. On the day of the talent show, the town square was packed with eager spectators. The silly goofballs took the stage, and the crowd immediately laughed at their hilarious performance. Lily did a cartwheel and landed on her face. Sammy juggled oranges and accidentally dropped them all, and Jake told a joke so cheesy that everyone groaned. Despite their mishaps, the silly goofballs had the audience in stitches the entire time. When they finished their act, the crowd erupted into applause and cheers. The silly goofballs were declared the talent show winners, much to their delight. From that day on, the silly goofballs were even more popular in Huntsville. They continued to entertain the town with their silly antics and goofy jokes, spreading laughter and joy wherever they went. And so, the silly goofballs lived happily ever after, always bringing smiles to the faces of everyone they met. Once upon a time, a cat named Whiskers lived in a cozy little town. Whiskers, with his insatiable curiosity and adventurous spirit, loved exploring. One day, his curiosity led him to a shiny red car parked on the side of the street. Being the curious cat that he was, Whiskers decided to climb into the driver's seat and take a closer look. Surprisingly, he found the car had a key in the ignition. With a mischievous glint, Whiskers decided to turn the key and see what would happen. With a mix of surprise and excitement, the car roared to life and Whiskers found himself behind an actual live vehicle. The sound of the engine and the feeling of freedom exhilarated him, prompting him to take the car for a spin around town. At first, Whiskers needed help with the car, but with a bit of trial and error he soon got the hang of it. He learned to turn the steering wheel, push the pedals and even honk the horn. As he drove around town Whiskers felt like a real driving pro. He waved at the other animals he passed by, feeling proud of his newfound skill. Soon, however, Whiskers realized that driving was not just a skill but a big responsibility. He understood the importance of keeping himself and others safe, which inspired him to be more careful. So Whiskers paid extra attention to the road, obeyed all the traffic rules, and used his turn signals. Before long, he was driving like a pro, much to the amazement of all the town's residents. Word of Whiskers' impressive driving skills spread quickly, and soon, he became a local celebrity, 
people would come from far and wide to see the talented driving cat in action. And so, Whiskers had learned to drive a car and had become a respected and admired member of the town. His adventures behind the wheel were known far and wide, and he was always ready to take someone for a joyride around town. From that day on, Whiskers was known as the coolest cat in town, proving that even a cat could learn to drive a car with curiosity and determination.